Today we are going to look at GRE as a test. So we are going to have an introduction to the GRE. The GRE, the graduate record exam. The GRE, the graduate record exam, is a test that is conducted all over the world by a very powerful organization in the US called the ETS, the English Testing Services. The ETS conducts all over the world tests like the GRE, which are called as the prerequisite tests. Requisite requirement. So a student who wants to get an admission into a master's program in the American universities has to write a test, the GRE. The prerequisite tests are those which are like our Indian entrance exams. So the GRE is taken by students who want to go for a master's in whatever stream. You could go for a technical program, you could go for art, you could go for philosophy, you could go for science programs. The GRE is a common entrance exam. Now for students like you, that is for people like us who come from a country like India, we are what is called as non-native born speakers of English. And therefore, we are also asked to write one more additional prerequisite, and that is the test of English as a foreign language, the TOEFL. If not the TOEFL, you are also given the option of writing the International English Language Testing Services, which is the IELTS. The need for writing the TOEFL or IELTS is because we need to prove to the American universities that our language proficiency is good enough to be a part of their program. So the four language uh, proficiencies, the reading, the writing, the speaking, and the listening are tested on TOEFL or the IELTS. Universities in the US are now accepting the IELTS as well as the TOEFL without any kind of a problem. So you could write one of these tests along with the GRE to get yourself an admission into the American universities. Now, if the need for writing the TOEFL or IELTS is very evident, we need to prove our language efficiency, then what is the purpose of writing the GRE? The GRE has a writing component. It has a verbal component and a quantitative component. Though it has a writing and verbal component to the test, it's not a language test. Even though it has a quantitative math section, it can't be really called a math test as well because these components are given certain names. The writing is called analytical writing. The verbal section is called verbal reasoning. The quantitative is called as a quantitative reasoning section. That means the GRE is a test of logic and reasoning. And the purpose for writing the GRE is that it is a test that evaluates your IQ, intelligent quotient. Now when students are applying to the American universities from all over the world, from India, from China, from Japan, from Europe, from South America, from America, the universities find it very difficult to give you admission merely on the basis of your academic performance because your percentages in your ACADS depends many times on the caliber and the standard of the university. So a common platform is required to be able to give every student who's applying to the American universities a chance to so show his or her caliber. And that is what the GRE is supposed to give you. The GRE is supposed to give the universities a glimpse as to how you're going to be as you join the course curriculum there. Because the GRE is also a predictive test. What does it predict? It predicts how you will be able to perform once you join the course curriculum there. From a survey made among the students who have joined the courses in the uni universities in America, it's been found that students with a good GRE score are proportionately able to do better in the course curriculum than those who have not got a good GRE score. Therefore, the admission offices in the American universities universally accept a GRE as a measurement of your ability to do well in the course curriculum. So, the GRE, which is a test of reasoning, tests you on these two components, the writing and the verbal, on what is called as verbal logic. And on the quantitative, it tests you on what is called as non-verbal logic. So, before we go a little more into the GRE as a test, 
let us look at the format of the test. Let us look at the components of the GRE. So, when you go to write the GRE test, the first section that you are going to face is the analytical writing section. On this section, you are asked to write two essays. The first is called the analysis of an issue. The second task that you write, the second essay that you write is called the analysis of an argument. To write these essays, the computer gives you 